Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I'm holding it. We're playing Madden 20, boys and girls. Get ready for some action. Oh, Hot dude, and heavy in the, in the hottest action. In the heat lands. The heat lands? Yeah, the hot land of San Francisco. Oh, so say, where exactly is the heat lands at? <laughs> San Francisco's pretty hot, right? I don't think so. It never it's rains. Pretty in, temperate. Never rains in southern I San call Francisco. It hot, though. Yeah, well, I'll tell you what—they're not hot from winning championships. Oh, <laughs> your your uh, your clairvoyance was incorrect. <laughs> it was so wrong, dude. I mean, it was very close to being right. Um, if losing is very close to winning, I mean, the game was closer than what it looked like it should have had been done, but did. Ben Dunn did? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. All right, look, fine. Let's get into the real meat and potatoes The real meat and meat and taters? Yeah, we're going to get into some hearty meat and vegetables. Okay. All right, Jonas. We were talking about purchasing life. <laughs> we literally stopped this conversation so we could have it on the stadium. Not like like purchasing a slave, right? <laughs> yeah, we're not. Because we're not first talking about. First, this is not about slavery. Yeah, I just want to. <laughs> I want to lead with that. Yeah, that's fair. So, Jonas, you were saying. I was saying is that you really can't. I said that you really can't purchase life. Right. But you can definitely purchase, purchase death. death. Yeah, absolutely. Like I can just hire somebody. And I they mean, can, you can. I mean, you don't even have to hire somebody to do it. That's the thing is that life is so hard to get, but just about anybody can take that. Oh, for sure. And Jonas said that you can take, you can purchase life. I can. You can. How can you purchase life? Okay, listen. Okay, I'm listening. So, if you're, say you had a wife. Yeah. And you guys want to have a baby. Yeah. And she was barren. Yeah. Which means she cannot have children. Yeah. You can pay another woman to carry your child. Yeah, or you can just you can just adopt a child. Yeah. With that. But that's not paying for life, that's paying oh, for Oh, for the actual life. Yeah, so basically what you do but 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 here's the there's there I guess there's two sides to this. You could literally have like if your wife is completely barren and doesn't have it doesn't produce eggs or anything. Or the other way around. Well, yeah, this we'll go we'll go with this one first. If your wife is completely barren, but like for, I don't know. You've parents. established that she has a, a poor womb. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I'm Get trying it. to like speak about it, man. Uh, I let me finish my thought. <laughs> you I just wanna, keep harping on a poor make, woman's womb. I want to make sure this woman's womb. All right. She has a, a stone in her stomach. Is a <laughs> now Wait, what? If they're barren, can they still produce eggs? I don't know. So what does it? Whatever you want for your freaking okay. scenario. Okay, my, <laughs> I don't my care. first scenario is. <laughs> oh my god! I have a whole scientific dissertation on this, so you best be prepared. This is no. a fifteen-minute episode. No. Okay. No, I'm joking. She can produce eggs, but just can't carry the child. Like, say she has tubal pregnancies or something. Which sure. You can take the egg of your wife. Pay to have it inseminated with your semen and then put it in another woman. That is literally paying for life. Because you're paying someone to put the sperm in her egg and then paying someone to take the egg, put it in her womb, and grow the baby. Yeah. That is paying for life. To a, to a certain extent, it kind of is. is. Look at this camera angle. Yeah, to I guess to a certain extent, it kind of is. And that's where I was thinking. I was thinking, like, well, I guess in vitro is basically just like paying somebody to put a that's great. put a sperm and an egg together to just make make a baby. Yeah, but the other side of this is if your wife can't produce eggs and you literally have to like have sex with another woman <laughs> to inseminate her, and she pays you, of course. <laughs> you, yeah, she'd be paying. No, but you would you would uh, you would pay her for sex to carry you. Whoa, Joe, you can't <laughs> do that. Hey, you can't. Yo, I wonder what the, what the guidelines are for that. Yeah, because you're not paying for you're not paying for the sex. You're paying for the baby. Because yeah, there's they they call that being like a surrogate, right? Yeah, that's a yeah. surrogate. So if I pay a surrogate and I'm just like, you know, I'm just, we're just gonna do this the old fashioned way. Yeah, but I think usually they inseminate. I know that usually, but, but, but you could, like, cause like, okay, but you could, yes, <laughs> no, Jonas. No, but for example, here's could. another here's another kind you of a, a situation. Say sex. there's like say there's like a uh, lesbian couple, right? And they have a really good guy friend, and they want to have a baby. Which I've actually I've, run into. Yeah, I've heard. Yeah, exactly. You know, so, like, they essentially, I mean, like, obviously, like, if you're their friend, you might do it for free or whatever. But Word. they could pay a man to have sex with one of them, 
specifically no, no. to have a baby. I'm pretty sure as soon as you say they could pay somebody to have sex with them, that that's illegal, Jonas. But they're paying for the semen, no, not the sex. The- <laughs> <laughs> that's like when you're like, no. buy this pencil. No, I'm pretty free, sure. <laughs> get, a, get a free calculator. Laptop. I'm, I'm, you're buying the pencil. You're not buying the laptop. I'm pretty sure that somebody has tried that before you and failed. All right. No, officer. I'm paying for the time to no, talk. See, yeah. the sex is free. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. Yeah. No, officer. I was just playing for the baggie. There was this cocaine in it when I got it. <laughs> yeah, I bought, I bought <laughs> this baggie, and there happened to be God damn. It, it was a there real ex- cocaine inside it. Real expensive baggie. Yeah, it was. Like, <laughs> Here's a hundred bucks for, for for an empty Ziploc bag. Oh, there happens to be a pound of weed in it? <laughs> no, officer, I was just playing for the dress. The woman just happened to come with it. Every dress right. came with a free woman. I paid for her time. She happened to want it. Yeah, <laughs> see, yeah. Me. So so you can see where this is going awry. Right. I don't think you can go around slanging seed for uh for dollars like that. I think yeah, I'm sure. I mean, I'm sure if it's like in a medical sense, you can like work around it. It's probably way. I, I mean, mean, like if you do it through a healthcare professional. You mean sperm banks? Yes. Um, yes. You ever been to a sperm bank? I have not. Never made a deposit I've at the never old spermatomedium. My, uh, my genomes into a pile. Ne- never been to the old load doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's what they call them. I'm not playing very well at all. Right? The it's, first punt, it had a complete wrong angle. It's all right, man. It's all right if you lose, too. It's not Just remember that. It's okay. No, it's not. No, the the, 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 the true victory oh, lies. Oh, but he fumbled like a bee, and we got it back. The true victory lies in good banter and commentary. Oh, and that's what we have, because we're talking about paying for babies. Because I played the same three plays over and over Did again. You? I didn't even notice. <laughs> I didn't even notice. That's because bro. that's because you weren't paying attention to the game, much like I'm not paying attention <laughs> right, exactly, to the game. Exactly. And when I was in your seat, guess what? I wasn't really paying attention to the game. And I'm not paying. <laughs> but I was definitely, te- but I was, but I was definitely paying attention to what the hell we were talking about. Yeah, I don't pay too much attention to the game. I go on autopilot. I wonder where they keep all the semen in the sperm bank. These are real questions. Dude, they, they keep it in like a refrigerator. Or something. Yeah, but or, or like a freezer. I'm sure. Yeah, but does like the whole refrigerator just smell like ammonia? <laughs> like, could you just? Damn, <laughs> Like open cups, dude. It's not like you just walk in. There's like Dixie cups sitting on a shelf. And, like, I figured they just had like a giant witch's cauldron, and, and they, they just pour it all in. They stick. <laughs> they just dip the ladle in it, and you don't know who you're gonna get. You're gonna. Oh, that'd be good. yeah. It's like called the. It's like it's like roulette insemination. <laughs> yeah, it's like the it's like the question mark fruit strikes gum. You never know what semen you're gonna get. Oh, man. dude. Oh, never know what flavor. But imagine like this scenario. The so white say, like, dum you dum. had like a friend, and like she was like, okay, I'm gonna be like forever alone. And she, but she had like a lot of guy friends, and she's like, listen, I want to have a baby. Jonas. I want all of you guys. I want all of you guys to fill up this cup, uh-huh. and I'm gonna <laughs> randomly take some of it, and one of you will be the dad. Jonas, you are a misogynist. <laughs> I'm convinced. I am not. I you lo- are. I love women. I think. No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you started this whole thing off by stating not one, not two, not but three times about a woman's rock of a womb. You were just like your that womb. Was re- that was relevant. Your room is the Sahara Desert. You didn't have to say it it's three not that times. She's here. If I was talking about a person, that'd be rude. <laughs> a, a fake person has nothing to do with real life. And then you make up this straw woman <laughs> just <laughs> test case. Like, what if a girl was such a freaking idiot? Because obviously they all are. Wow. <laughs> no, these are your words. I feel like I'm talking to... <laughs> <laughs> and she was just like, hey guys, why don't you fill up this Dixie cup with your man spunk? Wow. So I can have a baby. Roulette. <laughs> baby roulette. <laughs> baby I like that. You take all the different test tubes and put them on a roulette wheel and just. Yeah, just to see what happens. Yeah, I always bet on black. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> what you said. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, but that's that's how you buy life. Man. All right, I get it, man. I get it. it, it I, I, I was I was against it at first, but <laughs> now I'm kind of with it. I kind of so, see it. Though so there there is a meta, metaphysical uh, tangent that I wanted to go off yeah. on that because I was thinking, like, you don't really ever own life, right? I feel like life is kind of like like the car that you buy. Yeah, but you own the car. <laughs> yeah, do you though? 
Why not? Because as soon as you stop making payments, who comes and takes yeah, your car? Yeah, but eventually you own it. I own my car. I paid it off. It's mine. I mean, who, who's going to come take my car? I feel car? like the police could come and take your car. For At what? any point in time, somebody can come and take that car. Can't? Why? Somebody can could steal they? it. This isn't China, dude. I'm just they can't saying. just roll in and be like, we're taking your car. No, I'm saying somebody could steal your car. I'm saying you could commit a crime and the police could take your car. Yeah, I'm saying you could get a, into a car accident. That's a cause, though. You could get into a car accident. Your car can be taken away. Do you ever really own something if it can be so easily taken away from you? See, I mean, this life is life can be taken away. This is when I get into my stoicism bag yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, I right. can't I, even I, I, But I feel you. I get, I get it. But I figure you can actually take you life. You can possess it. You can possess a car oh that you can possess life but you never really own yeah, it yeah well i don't think you own anything because anything can be gone in a second uh, it's all yeah. possession what do you own that no one can take away you own your aversions your convictions but those aren't physical things yeah you can't own anything everything physical is finite fam. right exactly yeah you, <laughs> own your, you own your morals your values like those, those are, are the things you own people can't take that from you people can try yeah. to change your mind but they can't like physically take it exactly you know what see i didn't mean for it to get into that bag either i didn't mean to get into that hole but it's just it's so ingrained in me that as soon as you said you can purchase life. I was like, no, you can't, man. Because I can't, like, go down to the grocery store, get life, bring life home, <laughs> hang out with life. Hey, honey, while you're there, grab a couple of lives. <laughs> Yo, that'd be great. <laughs> I like, feel like jumping off the bridge tonight. Grab a new life for us. Hell okay? yeah, Mario rules. Right, exactly. <laughs> Dude, we're going to be doing some dangerous-ish tonight. Let's grab a couple extra lives. Yeah, grab me, like, four or five one-ups, fam, because... <laughs> tonight we plan to get some crazy-ish. <laughs> we getting crazy tonight. <laughs> Jonas, if you, okay, just in a world where we were like granted unlimited lives, we got unlimited lives, unlimited continues. Oh, dude, I'd be doing all sorts of crazy. Do you think we? Yeah, man. Do you think you would just like kill yourself on a regular basis? It like the first time would be weird. I'm glad you already have like. <laughs> You already have a method for how this works. <laughs> just like dreamed up. It was just like, like, yeah. like, like the first time would be awkward, I think, because like it'd be like scary. Like, am I really gonna come back? But once I did it and knew I could come back <laughs> and knew it was unlimited, I'd be like, climb up on top of the roof, let's go. <laughs> like, Ooh. and like if I jumped off and didn't die, I'd be like, hey fam, get me. <laughs> he just <went laughs> pop, and then I like pop back up. I'm alive. Back to normal. Yo, I don't know, man. <laughs> You could do anything dangerous you want, you and, if, do and if you don't die, your friend could just kill you, and then, then you're back to life. <laughs> wow. Murder wouldn't be a crime because I, I you just, come back to life. I just imagine the pain of a botched suicide. <laughs> oh, dude, that would be so terrible. Be like you go in and you fight a, like a lion or something, like I'm gonna f this lion up, and then like the lion like keeps you within an inch of death, and you're just like lying there with bite wounds yeah. and scratch marks all oh. over your body. Yeah, dude. Uh, I would think that a like yeah, like a botch suicide, like all jokes aside, would be like probably want to be like you already feel terrible because you're trying to kill yourself. Then if you like don't do it and I mean, like you physically like, if you're just doing it for fun, then it's a little oh, different. Yeah, well yeah, if you have unlimited lives, oh yeah. But yeah, dude, you could do like whatever, man. Like you could be like, oh, I want to drive this car off into the Grand Canyon and just do it, and then the next he's pop up in your bed the next well, I'm day. I'm glad. I'm glad you're rich in this, this scenario where we have unlimited. <laughs> I feel lives. if we have unlimited lives. There's Everybody a way that we have money. Yeah. If we're living in a Mario world, we can just go collect coins. That, that's not a that's not a bad point. I was watching a uh this kind of feeds into this actually. I was watching a uh a podcast the other day. Okay. Actually watching it somewhat. And they said, What if you find out that if you eat a hundred babies at noon that you gain immortality? Eat a hundred babies at noon? Yes. Yeah? How, but how, but how, but how, but, but, but how would you find that out? It's gonna start popping so, bite so, size. So like the crazy, the crazy man who's <laughs> eating newborns <laughs> determines he's determines he's finally he's finally immortal. I don't know how you find out, but you find <laughs> out, and it is assured as a fact. As factual as you know that your right hand is your right hand, your left hand is your left hand. You know that if you eat one hundred babies at noon, don't even have to be on the same day. Like the whole baby? You just gotta eat. Yeah, you gotta eat a whole baby <laughs> at noon. That's a hundred like a times. third of a year, dude. <laughs> but you, you get to day. live forever. But where do you get the babies? 
That's not my f- freaking problem here. That's yours. You just have so the you information. you have to kill 100 babies and hope you don't go to jail. And then if they do, you're still killing babies, so you're going to be yeah. immortal in jail? How fun is that? Hey, yo, fam, I'm telling you this house is for sale. You got to figure out how to buy it, all right? <laughs> I can't do well, anything for it. Well, with the, with the eating babies thing, <laughs> there's, a, <laughs> there's a risk of going to jail. And then you're immortal in jail. Or you. How are you? What are they going to do? Keep you in jail for life? Uh, yeah. No, nah, Jonas. They give you so many years. No. If you ate. A, if they, you killed 100 babies, you're getting life in prison. Yeah, but how long is life in prison? Till you die. <laughs> but you never die. Exactly. They, they no, that is inhumane and un. So it's you- killing 100 babies! <laughs> You're talking about you're complaining that immortal man has to stay in life in jail forever because he killed a hundred babies. I'm just saying, let me like pick that up. is like that is like the devil's devil's advocate. I'm saying, let me pick up trash on the side of the of the freeway or something. You're a baby killer. I want to work off some of my time. They're not going to do that. Let me volunteer at a soup kitchen. Because here's your thought process, dude. When you get out, you're just going to start eating babies again. No, because I'm done now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm done eating that babies. That sounds like now. a great. That, a great case. Officer, judge, parole board, listen. I only needed 100. I'm done. If you let me out, promise. I'm never going to eat baby. All right, so check it. All right, so that just leaves you with the point. You have Whatever you have to do, you have to not get caught. I right. feel like that even if you get caught, and, I mean, after 50 years of being in jail, 60 years of being in jail, and they're like, how are you 120? They're going to be like, this is kind of weird. We got to reevaluate. You can always appeal is what they call it. They will never let a 100 baby killer out for anything. And you look, man, in 60 years, I better learn how to escape from prison. All right? Well, if you're in there long enough, you're going to like go through entire guards, renovations. Like You're going to know everybody, dude. Eventually, I'm, I, they got to let me out eventually. Dude, but imagine this. Imagine if you're in jail. You would be like the king, though, because like people would try to mess with you. They try to shank you. You wouldn't die. Thank imagine you. if like the biggest, baddest MF in prison came up, shanked you, and you literally just stood there like, what? Try again. <laughs> and they shanked you again, and, and nothing happened. The wound just closes up. <laughs> right, dude. I'm just saying, Jonas, is that eventually you're going to get out. If you are going to live for a thousand years, two thousand years, ten thousand years, you're gonna get out of jail. Well, eventually, like everyone else is gonna die, and they're gonna keep you in jail. But is that worth it? What if you get caught and you have to go into you're you're in there for so long, two hundred years that I'm in prison. That the like everyone in the world dies. You're the only one left. Yes. The, the you have to figure out a way to break out of the jail because everyone's dead. Easy. Easy, easy yeah. break out. You're not. You don't have superhuman strength. You're I have two hundred years to practice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. But what? But like, do you do you not have to eat? Because what if everyone in the prison dies? You're not gonna be able to have any sustenance. What are you? I'm immortal. I don't even need to eat anymore. What am I gonna do? Starve to death? Ooh, I'll be hungry. <laughs> but your body will wither away. Nah, dude. Immortality no, that, doesn't mean you're. No, nah, we're saying if, if I can survive a knife wound, I think I can survive a little. Uh, like not eating, all right. A little calorie restriction. Yeah, <laughs> we're we're including that in. I'm I'm, I'm a mortal. I don't need to sleep, eat, or. Sh- uh, oh my god, you're awake in jail for 200 years with no- never have to sleep ever. Just yeah. like sitting there at night in a cell. Like you would definitely get to. I, I just feel like even if it took me 200 years, even if it took me 500 years to escape prison, once I'm out, I've got. Infinity to do whatever I want. Five hundred years is a long time. But there's no way they are going to keep me in jail for five hundred years. Well, you say that now. There's That's literally five years per baby. I hate to get that. <laughs> That's, That's, That's probably, too much. That's pro- a baby. Wait, wait, a baby's life isn't worth five years to you. I mean. I'm not saying that, Jonas. That's what you're saying. That by not, not saying, it. saying I heard out of your mouth, I don't care about these babies, so <laughs> I can just get out of there. No, you're making, you're a misogynist and I'm a babologist. <laughs> a babologist. <laughs> a babologist, whatever yeah, the hell. And, well, what did they say on the podcast about it? Uh, they they kind of, they actually didn't even delve too deep into They're it. They're just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> Here yeah. we are. Neither one of them was willing to, like, uh, say that they would take that deal with the Dude, devil. I could, like, literally talk about this for, like, two hours, probably. <laughs> just keep going. <laughs> We're not going to turn this into the baby-eating channel, fam. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Yeah.
But I definitely could talk about it. We, you know, we'll take some ish past past the area we're supposed to take it. Yeah. It's just it's just that deal with the devil scenario, man. Where it's like, yeah, you're getting a lot, but you got. What do you gotta do to get it? Yeah. Well, I and feel like it, fame comes fame? is kind of kind of has that too. Uh, yeah. Cause like it's like yeah, yeah. You aren't doing something as extreme as eating babies, obviously. But sometimes you really gotta like you, and that is where you can sell your intangible assets. Because if you, because a lot of times it's like, yeah, I want to be famous, but I have to give this up, which is not a physical item. It's like your privacy, your, your privacy, or. Maybe they want you to, like, you have to, like, sell out, essentially. Yeah. Like, so you have to give up, like, a, a stand you have on something. Or yeah. they're like, they're uh, like, yeah, we'll, we'll make you a millionaire. You'll be famous as hell. But now you have to, now you have to be a promoter of killing babies. I think the biggest thing is that just that feeling of normalcy that <clears throat> you hear about so many celebrities talking about, oh, man, I lost so many celebrities talking about how they just want to be, like, a normal person. Yeah, again. but, dude, come on. You knew what you were getting into. Like, if I ever got to a point where... Like, if Do I they? was trying, to, if we were trying to be famous rappers, right? Like, that's what everyone who's a rapper tries to do. They want to be a famous rapper. You don't put out rap music so nobody listens to it. I mean, yeah. So, you put out music. What you wanted to happen happens. People listen to it. You get famous from your music. And then you have the goddamn gall to be like, I wish I was normal. I wish I had a normal life. You tried to have a not normal life. You went to the mm. extreme to have a not normal life you better not complain about what you got so many people try that and don't get there and you're going to complain that you got what you were looking for uh, yeah i mean come on well, you want your cake and you want to eat it too I'll like you want you, you want to have 30 million dollars but you can't go to burger king by yourself when <laughs> <laughs> favor that ish to your house bro wow <laughs> That's how you feel, yes. Jonas. Yes, that's right. how I feel. How right. dare you compl- be like, I just I just wanted to be a famous actor and be able to go to McDonald's, too. Mm-hmm. 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 Next, mm-hmm. On the next episode, Jonas. What? On the next episode. <laughs> no, we're sitting out No, okay. we are I not. I don't feel that much. <laughs> I'm just being stupid. That is all the time we have for today's episode. Please <clears throat> make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Uh, call TNT a friend. <laughs> don't call me that. <laughs> <laughs> and TNT Dynamite. <laughs> we are. <laughs>